Hi everyone, welcome to my new channel. I am very happy to have you here. Today we are doing a reading for Sagittarius and this is going to be an overview of 2023. This is going to be a longer video. I'm going to go month by month in quarters. So if you're interested to see what's happening for Sagittarius in 2023, stick around with me. I'm going to do a mix of tarot cards and some oracle cards. We'll try to get as many messages as we can. I will also timestamp the quarters in the description box. So if you ever decide to refer back to this video, it will be easier for you to find. All right, guys, let's go ahead and start. We're going to start with January, February and March. So let's see what is the main message. What's happening in January 2023 for Sagittarius, for my Sagis. Let's see. Oh, right here, this one. Oh, good start. All right, February 2023 for Sagittarius. February is here. Oh, devil. Okay, March 2023 for Sagittarius. March 2023 for Sagittarius. This one. Page of Pentacles. All right. I'm going to now go ahead and pull a coffee cup oracle card for each month. So let's start with January 2023 for Sagittarius. No. January 2023 for Sagittarius. January 2023. This is the card. Okay. Oh, wow. Beautiful energy here for you for January. Good start of the year. Very good start. All right, let's see February. February 2023 for Sagittarius. This one. Loyalty and determination. All right. And March 2023 for Sagi. March 2023 for Saji. I dropped that. What am I taking? I'm not taking anything. Okay. All right. I'm going to go ahead and reshuffle. The cards that need to come out will come out. Not to worry. This is it. All right. Just the scales. All right. I'm going to now. Go ahead and clarify the cards, starting off with this um, beautiful Nine of Cups for January 2023. Let's clarify Nine of Cups for my Sagittarius. Let's see. What is this Nine of Cups about? Nine of Cups, clarify Nine of Cups. This is the cards. These are the cards. Oh, wow, sun. And two of cups. Wow, beautiful. Beautiful January for you. And this. Wow, four ones. Amazing. Amazing energy. All right, let's get some additional messages. Let's get some additional messages for January 2023 for Sagittarius. What else we've got here? What else we've got here for Sagittarius? This one, the chariot. Wow, nice. Okay. Ace of emotions. Oh, wow. And, and six of inspiration. Wow. January is going to be magnificent for you. Beautiful, beautiful January. All right, let's see what's happening here in February. Let's clarify this devil. What is this devil here for in February? For my Sagis. Oh, I feel like I just dropped that. Give me a second here. Let's see, devil, clarify devil. Top card. 
No, two, two cards. Okay. Two of Pentacles and Ace of Swords. Okay. What else here for Devil? What else is here for Devil? This is in. Ace of Wands. Okay. All right. Let's get some other messages here. What else do we need to know about February 2023? For Sagittarius, what else do we need to know? What else is happening in February? Devil again. Oh, wow. The Stamperance. And the Hermit. Okay, got it. Let's now move on to March and see what's happening in March. What is this Page of Pentacles here for? Page of Pentacles in March. For Sagittarius. For Swords. Where am I taking this one? Not this one, okay. Alright, what else? What else for Page of Pentacles, please? Death and Reapers. Beautiful. That's it. Okay. All right. Let's get some other messages here. Let's uh, get additional messages. What's happening in March? Okay. Nine of Emotions. Nice. I'm not taking these, I'm taking these, okay, all right, that's what we are told, that's what we do, right, okay, good, 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 all right, so let's go ahead and go month by month and clarify and see what's, what is this all about, uh, like I mentioned before, your January looks magnificent, this is a beautiful month for you, you have this Nine of Cups here to start with, which is a fulfillment of wishes, which is a, a beautiful kind of abundance in your emotion. Your love life looks absolutely amazing here. You're definitely in love. You're definitely abundant here with the sun energy. You're very happy. Very happy card. This is to me the happiest card in the deck. And you have it with Two of Cups and Four Wands. This is an amazing energy for a romantic union. Two of Cups is a divine romantic union and Four of Wands is a family foundation. 1111, again, this is Four of Wands is 1111, which is again a divine union. So absolutely, you're very strong in love during this month. And you have it here with this queen, with the success card. You are the queen. You are the queen of your life. You are the queen for the, your partner. Whoever sees you, whoever your partner is during this time, he sees you as a queen. You have it with the chariot. Look at her. Doesn't she look like she's successful and a queen here? Yes, she does. This is a card of total victory. This is a card of success again. Ace of emotion, beautiful romantic love start. This, you, this month is all about love for you. Love and a win. Success. Six of inspiration. Again, this is a card of success. This is a great month for you. She's recognized here. She could be even famous here. You can, you can be coming to fame during this time for sure. If that's what you're working on with the chariot card, with the six of inspiration and a crown card, for sure, you could be coming to success here when it comes to recognition and some fame. Absolutely amazing months for you, January. Very strong in love and, like I said, recognized. Recognized for who you are. Beautiful. All right, let's see what's happening here in February. In February, you got Devil Twice. Devil Twice is a confirmation from the guy saying, hey, I meant it. Yes, there is a devil energy here. Um, now... 
what I see here is that uh, you're juggling with your finances and what it's telling me here was this uh, devil twice and then temperance coming here is that you're very impatient look at you you have two aces here aces are new beginnings you have ace of swords and ace of wands ace of wands could be talking about a new beginning in the career ace of swords could be talking about some new beginning in communication and two of pentacles you're juggling here your finances I feel like this devil energy is talking about you being impatient. You're impatient during this time. You're trying to uh, bring your pentacles to balance. You're trying to start something here. You're trying to start maybe a new business. Maybe you want to get a new job. Maybe you're applying for new jobs here and you're not seeing the results. What it's telling me here is that you need to be patient. This temperance card here is talking about bringing this all to balance. Bring this your energy to balance and be patient listen to your intuition go to your hermit mode go to your hermit mode meditate meditation will definitely help you be to be patient and wait for your success to come it is coming i'm sure it is coming your way here you have this dog card here there are some people around you that are willing to stay um, on your side and uh, be loyal to you and they will help you with this uh, new beginning that you're looking at but you have to stay determined you have to stay determined you have to stay, stay patient this devil card is telling me about uh, some snappiness here it's telling me about you being rushing into something that is not here for you yet that's uh, the way i see it you're trying to rush things your way and uh, you you feel a little bit tempted here to start something that is just not here for you yet you need to meditate you need to go within you need to listen to your intuition hermit is a wise wise sage this is talking about you taking your time for yourself don't rush don't rush don't juggle don't try too hard stay determined on your path be patient and the new beginnings will start for you this is what i see for you for your february of course devil can also be strongly talking about the capricorn season which is february for sure but i do see this as a little toxic energy of being impatient all right sagis let's see what's happening in march well look at you look at you you actually bring the scales into balance here in march very good this page of pentacles is talking to me about some uh, new beginning in your money this could be you studying a new job this is you'd be it could be you studying that new project that you wanted so about to start here in february this seems to be the time for you march seems to be the time to bring this pentacle to earth to embrace some ground and grounding energy here and uh, nourish this project that you want to bring to life Four of Swords and Nine of Swords, definitely something that you've been in your head about for a long time. Something that um, you worried about for a while. I feel like uh, the whole February was uh, filled with quite a bit of worry about your finances. And you're coming in here into March and you have this energy of death and rebirth. Which is talking to me about rebirth in your financial situation. I do feel like you're giving a birth to some new project when it comes to your finances. This is what I see for you for March. Your finances are balancing out here. You have justice in your favor. You might be start signing here some new documents. You might be starting uh, signing a document for a new job. This could be um, a new contract. This could be you sign signing documents for your new business. And look at this you have this with nine of emotions eight of materials and several materials this is telling me that you are hard at work you're working on your money seven of materials you see the growth eight of materials look at you you're multitasking here and all those roses look beautiful you get to do it all and you do it very well you're in control here the scales are balanced you're in control of your um, materials for sure you're working hard here and this is something that brings you material satisfaction and emotional satisfaction. Nine of emotions is uh, fulfillment of dreams. We've seen it here when it comes to your romantic love life. 
For March here, this fulfillment of dreams it has something to do with your money situation and your finances. There is a genie here. You wished for it, for sure. For sure you've been waiting for it, maybe a little impatiently. And now your wishes are coming true. Your wishes regarding what? Regarding your material, regarding your finances, regarding your money. So very good, very good start in the money situation here for March for you. This is what I see, Sagis. This is your first quarter of 2023. I'm going to go ahead now and remove these cards and cleanse the energy a little. And we're going to move to your second quarter. We're going to see what's happening in April, May and June of 2023. Let's see. I'm going to timestamp this so you can refer to the quarter you want to watch at any given time. All right, let me cleanse these cards. Move this out of the way so we can make space for new. All right, second quarter. Second quarter of 2023 for Sagittarius. April, May and June. Let's start with April. What is happening in April? For Sagittarius, April 2023, April 2023. Oh, you've got two cards here. Okay, well, we'll take them together. Okay, uh, let's go to May, May 2023 for Sagittarius. This one right here. Nice. And June, June 2023. June 2023 for Sagittarius. Queen of Swords. All right. Okay, let's go ahead and pull Coffee Cup Oracle for each month. April 2023 for Sagittarius. April 2023. What do we have here? This one is jumping. Nice. Okay. May 2023 for Sagittarius. May 2023. Yep, that's it. And June 2023. June 2023. This is it. Alright. Let's clarify. Let's see what is happening here in April with Two of Cups and Page of Swords. Two of Cups and Page of Swords for April. Please clarify. Two of Cups and Page of Swords. Two of Cups and Page of Swords. For studies for April. What are we here for? Five of Swords. What am I taking? Top card. Okay. Six of Wands. Alright. What else is here? Two of Cups and Page of Swords here for? What is it? Nine of Swords. Both. Okay, both. All oh, three. Magician, the Lovers, and Ace of Wands. Wow, beautiful. All three? Yeah, all three. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and pull some additional messages here for April 2023 for Sanji's. What else is happening in April? What other clarification you need to know? What else is happening in April for Sagittarius? This is happening. All right. Oh, wow. Okay. Nine of 
of emotion. Okay. An ace of emotions. All right, good. Okay, let's go ahead and move on to May. May 2023. Please clarify four of cups for Sagittarius. Four of cups. What is this four of cups here for? What is it? Fourth here, four, four, and four. Significant number for you for May. All right, let's get some additional messages here for May 2023 for Sagis. What else is happening in May 2023 for Sagis? Wow, six of inspiration, nine of voices. Wow, you got four fours here in this month. Definitely a significant number. Do some synchronicities when you see 44, 4444. Four, four. Okay, let's clarify Queen of Swords for June 2023 for Sagis. clarification for Queen of Swords for June 2023. What is this Queen of Swords here for? What is this? This one. <laughs> okay. This one. Wow, beautiful. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and get some additional messages here for June 2023. This is right here. Oh, devil is coming back. News of materials, nice. And five of emotions. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. This is it. This is the one. Page of emotions. Okay. All right. Well, let's see what's happening here. Move this a little closer so you can see. Okay. So let's go ahead and start here from April and see what's going on. I feel like this is going to be a turbulent month for you. There is some uh, struggle here between... Uh, Emotion, romantic love, and some uh, thoughts. So definitely some struggle between heart and head here. This is what I see with this Two of Cups here and Page of Swords. This is somebody who is trying to think logically about some romantic union. Um, not sure if this is working out for you very well here during this month. I think you're, you're trying to uh, put a little bit too much head in your romantic love life and i feel like maybe you need to give in a little bit more to your heart here five of swords definitely some uh, headaches here 
Um, the, this comes here with nine of swords. In my readings, these cards often come together. This is talking about some sleepless nights. This is uh, talking about you being in your head and maybe overthinking situation. With this page of swords, who's uh, an air element, definitely a lot of thoughts here. I feel like you're overthinking this romantic union that you're in right now. You do want to have success. You want to be recognized in this union. There might be some issues here in communication between these two people here, and you feel like um, you you don't you you're not hurt. You're not hurt as you wish you would in this union. What I see here is you manifesting. You manifesting here this lovers, this beautiful romantic love life, romantic love partnership, and this is something that uh, you're manifesting here. Um, and want to bring to your life. You want to bring back passion into this union. I feel like there is way too much of a logic going on here. I think that maybe you, um, this union somehow gets a little bit stagnant during this month and maybe there is a lot of decisions that you have to make. Maybe there is something that to do with your money that you have to think about here. And uh, I feel like you want to bring back balance and romance into this life. I feel like you want to bring back passion during this time. And this is what you're doing. With this magician here, you have all the resources that you need. You have all the energies and you can direct the energy into whatever you want to build here. This is what I see. Bring back the passion. Be unique self. Trust that you are enough. With this moose card here, trust that you are enough to bring to have the um, connection here that you want. Not necessarily just the connection of two beautiful minds, but the connection of two beautiful souls. Something that is passionate, that you're passionate about. Something that brings you emotional satisfaction here. Bring back a little bit of a spark into your connection. That's what I need you to see here. Seven of materials with ten of swords, it does talk to me that maybe you've been working on something, on some uh, um, money situation here and uh, I feel like there is some endings here uh, during this month. There could be some struggle that uh, um, between the material world and your emotional world here. There are some choices to be made here as well with this uh, seven of cups, but you have this nine of emotions here and eight of emotions. So I feel like towards the end of the month you will find your emotional uh, wish fulfillment. You will have this uh, genie here bring you what you want. And what you want is an emotional start. I don't think this is a new romantic union. I think that you're just bringing back the passion to the union that you have here. This is what I see. All right, guys, let's go ahead and move on and see what's happening in May. Okay, so as I briefly mentioned before, a lot of fours coming here in May. You have four of cups, four of materials, which is four of pentacles, uh, four of swords twice. So four can be a very significant number during May. You might be seeing the number a lot around you during that month. And what I see here is that you're working on your money here. You're definitely working on your stability, but you're also taking some time for yourself. Four of swords is telling me that there is a need for you to heal, to rejuvenate, and to restore your energy during this time. There is this offer coming your way with this Four of Cups as an overall energy. It could be an offer of studying a new project that will bring you material um, balance and uh, material gains. Four of Pentacles, I feel like uh, uh, this could be the month when you um, Holding up tight your finances, you might be on the budget here and you're trying to start something new with the sense of pentacle, seven of pentacles, sorry, you're trying to grow your, mo your money here. And I feel like there is, there is an offer of cooperation that is coming your way to help you grow this, to help you grow your uh, materials and uh, to help you um, bring your money to a new level here. This is what I see. There is some offer of cooperation here. This could be somebody who is coming to uh, offer you some additional finances to um, put in into your business. This could be somebody who's offering you a partnership. This could be somebody who's offering you a collaboration. This could be somebody who just wants to work with you, who wants you to come and work um, in their company. 
good atmosphere, good work atmosphere here. I see playfulness. I see people that work very well together. And you have here Six of Inspiration, which is talking about success and recognition. So I feel whatever this new project that you're working on here will bring you success. Nine of Voices to me is talking about the voices in your head. With so many fours here, I feel like there is a little bit of an energy of lack. And uh, Nine of Voices is telling me there might be some voices in your head that, um, uh, that make you hesitate. You're hesitant here. Are you going to get this offer? Are you going to be able to bring this uh, project and nourish it to success? I, would you have to struggle with your finances for much longer? I feel like there are some voices in your head that might make you hesitant because there are some uh, uh, secrets around this here. This, there is definitely some secrecy here around you. There could be something that has not been illuminated for you here. And this could be this offer. I feel like you are in your head and you're worried about this uh, situation because you don't see this offer coming for you yet. You don't see it with the moon energy. There is some uh, secrecy here, but you have six of uh, inspiration. Uh, sorry, three of inspiration. Three of inspiration is uh, talking, uh, telling me that yes, there will be success here in your career and your financial situation. So you are starting small, but you're getting this offer. So take the time to think about it, but make sure that you bring your third vision here. Look at her. She's with closed eyes, but she's trying to tap into her intuition, to her higher self here. And you have this uh, card twice. So tap into your intuition and uh, get out of your head. Get out of the negative thinking. Get, get out of the lack mentality. You do have an offer of cooperation coming towards you here. This is what I see. All right, let's see what's happening in June. In June, I have a very strong energy here of uh, some movement. I often see Queen of Swords as somebody who is ready to go to the um, to relocate, to go somewhere else. I see her as somebody who um, is sitting on her throne and she reached the goals that she had in the location or in the position where she is and she's ready to move forward. With this direction and journey card, with the ship card here, I do feel you moving moving ahead. Now, this could be you literally looking at the other shores here with this three of wands and you might be relocating. You might be relocating. You have three of inspiration here, which is also three of wands. And this energy is um, continuing here in June. So definitely you're waiting for something to happen. I feel like during this month of January, you are tapping into your intuition. What you've been working on here during this month is trying to get to your intuition and uh, get the answers from above. Here in June, you are in your power. Your third eye is lit. You, you are very much connected to the source here and you're making decisions, very good and logical decisions for you that are not just here on 3D, but also very much connected with your higher self. So looking at the Far Horizons here with this uh, ship card, definitely you could be moving here with this death and rebirth. For sure, a new cycle for you. A new cycle starting here in June. That's what I see. Now you have this devil energy here with Muse of Materials. Now, this is talking to me about some temptation here. And uh, this has something to do with your money, with your pentacles. I feel like this three of wands energy here is also temptation in a way. This, this is not necessarily negative, especially when it comes to your money. I feel like you're on fire here. You want to go somewhere else and you want to start new. And uh, sometimes the devil energy is needed for us, especially when it comes uh, uh, to pushing us to this uh, far horizons that we might be not so sure what's there, but we want to go there. And I feel like this is where devil is pushing you here. This is not necessarily a negative uh, situation for you, especially with this card of Muse of Materials. Muse of Materials is talking that wherever you're going to go, this road here, wherever you're going, is taking you to a full abundance in your material world a balance in your material world, beautiful horizons here, beautiful horizons that you're going towards to, 
Where's this uh, shape card here? Look where she's going. She's walking towards a full material abundance. Very nice. So yeah, let the devil push you a little bit. Get out of your comfort zone. It is time. You have this five of emotions card here. This is five of cups. This is you possibly reminiscing about the past. This is you might be a little bit unsure. Do I go or do I stay? Do I stay with two cups that um, I have? You know, two cup, uh, on a regular um, five of cups card, you have two cups that are in front of you and uh, three cups, sorry, three cups in front of you that are spilled and you have two cups behind you that you don't see. I feel like it's time to move. This water here is also reminding me of a ship. I feel like you're ready. I feel like you're ready to uh, embrace this uh, energy of page of emotion who is somebody who has very youthful energy, who is somebody who has his heart lit, his or her heart lit with this uh, high priestess card. You're definitely taking, uh, tapping into your uh, intuition. You're listening to your God feeling here and you're taking a leap of faith. You're going for the new, you're going for rebirth here. Very nice and transformational June for you. This is what I see. All right, Sagis, let's go ahead and remove these cards from here. Now cleanse your energy a little, see. And we're going to go ahead and uh, move on to your third quarter. What's happening in the third quarter of 2023 for Sagittarius? That's what we're going to tap into. Okay, let's see. So July, August and September, this is what we are looking for. Let me take that away. All right, July, August and September of 2023 for Sagittarius, starting off with July. Okay, let's see. This one. All right. August, August 2023 for Sagittarius. Oof, look at that. Beautiful. This is season of Leo, August, and you have sun, happiness. All right, and September, September 2023. September 2023 for Saggy. No, that's not it. Okay. We'll find the card we need. Here it is, King of Swords. All right. Okay, let's pull Oracle cards. Oracle card for July 2023 for Sagittarius. Woo! Nice. August 2023 for Sagittarius. This is it. Okay. And September 2023 for Sagittarius. Oh wow, that was very fast. We got two here. Look at that, you have success with luck and money. Strength, success, luck and money. How cool is that, with the king energy. Beautiful. All right, let's clarify. Seven of Pentacles for July 2023 for Sagittarius. Clarify Seven of Pentacles. What is this Seven of Pentacles here for? Seven of Pentacles. Seven of Pentacles, Queen of Swords, Nine of Wands, nice. Intuition and Death of Rebirth, wow, beautiful. Okay, let's get some additional messages for July 2023. July 2023 for Sagis. 
2023. What's happening in July? This is happening. Oh, nice. Four of Wands. Knight of Materials. of inspiration, green of emotions, and muse of emotions. Wow, beautiful. All right. Okay, let's see August, Leo season, the sun. What is the sun here for for August 2023 for Sagittarius? This is it. Whew, nice. Not all, oh, all of them. Oh, wow, look at that. Ten of Pentacles, the Devil, and Three of Pentacles. All right. Let's get some additional messages. Okay. Additional messages here for August 2023. Take a bottom card. Okay. What else is here for August 2023 for Sagittarius? What else is here? What's happening in August? What do we need to know? Knight of Inspirations and Page of Inspirations. Okay. No, not these two. There's another one. There's another one. Which one? This one. Six of Voices. Okay. Let's go ahead and move to September. Let's clarify King of Swords for September 2023 for Sagittarius. <sighs> Top card, okay. Ten of Swords, not these, okay. King of Swords, King of Swords, this one. Ooh. Wow, the tower. All right. And justice. Nice. Okay. Let's get some additional messages. September 2023. Is this the card? Yes, this is the card. Death. Oh, wow. Okay. A lot of major arcanas for you there. What else? What else for September 2023 for Sagittarius? What else? Wow, hang news. Again, the major arcana. And justice. Oh, wow. Beautiful. Very strong months. Okay, well, let's go see. See what's gonna happen in here. Starting off with July. I feel like July, you have a lot of stuff going on in July. That's what I see. All right, so I see July working on your money and I feel like there is a steady growth with your finances here. You made some uh, good decisions here when it comes to your money. You decided to persevere. You did not give up. You're not giving up during this month in July. You're working, you're working here. You're definitely um, growing this finances and you see a steady growth. So I feel like this is 
good stable months for your uh, um, money situation and for your career situation now i feel like this is uh, the month when you will focus quite a bit on your love life with this hard card here um, you have a magician and you have death and rebirth so i feel like you are manifesting some new start in your um, love life i feel like you're manifesting new love that's what i see or you could be manifesting and rebirth of an existent connection or uh, that maybe um, went a little bit south base, you know but it is possible that uh, during this month you're bringing your energy into balance and you're manifesting some uh, rebirth or a new love there is a four of inspiration here this is four wands this is 11 11 11 11 is divine union I feel like you have a very good, nice group of people around you here as well. Some friends who are wishing you well, some uh, um, alike thinkers, somebody who's very close. You have a very nice group of friends here, a very close group of friends that you can share your emotions with, you can share your thoughts with, and uh, you're on the same page. Night of Materials um, comes with still of inspiration. I do feel like you're looking into new horizons here. Look at her. She's looking into new horizons. Uh, you're ready here to move. I'm not talking about the actual uh, necessarily physical move, but you are looking for something new here. And this Queen of Emotions and Muse of Emotions, this is talking about your love life for sure. I feel like you're ready to move. You're ready for a new cycle, for a new birth of new love, or like I said, a new cycle in your existing love relationship here. You're strong in your emotions. You're looking for love and you have it here. Muse of emotions is a beautiful balance of love. This is what I see. Very strong for your love life. Stable in finances, strong in love. This is how I see you July. Alrighty, what is happening here in August? Let's just see, huh? Alright, August. I see you being very happy. I see you being very fulfilled. I see some playful energy. I see kids around you. I see you taking on a childlike energy here as well with the sun card. This is called, so we can indicate Leo season, which is August. Nine of Cups is emotional fulf uh, wish fulfillment. This is you strong in love. Ten of Pentacles, this is happy family. This is a uh, um, happy home. This is a full abundance in the financial world as well. With the Sun card, there could be definitely a lot of kids around you during this time. There's kids. You might be even having a child here, a new addition to the family here. If this was your um, wish, if you wanted to, um, have a child or if you wanted to get pregnant <laughs> this I can see this happening for you in August now also see this um, energy of a devil here with three of pentacles and there's towers somewhere there's tower here as well so I feel like during this time as you are happy in love and happy in your family there might be some tempting offer here coming to you when it comes to um, some financial project i feel like there might be some tempting offer coming your way to work with somebody there could be somebody coming to uh, offer you a partnership in your business this could be a capricorn coming your way and they're kind of uh, calling you in they're calling you in and they're offering you the, to work together this is what i see now you have this uh, energy with nine of emotions nine of emotions is nine of cups so I feel like you're very strong when it comes to your happiness here and nothing can distort that with the sun and twice nine of cups. Definitely nothing can ruin your happiness here. But I do feel like something is falling apart here behind you. Look at that. This tower here is a little different from towers in other decks. This is something falling behind you and you are staying strong here. This could be this toxic energy here, something that has to fall, a tower has to fall. Everybody has to go through the tower moment in their life. And I feel like there is something falling apart here, but you're staying strong. You're staying strong, you are the winner, the night of inspiration. Look at these fireworks. 
There is fireworks in your life. There is sun in your life here. There is happiness here. Page of inspiration, six of voices. Again, I feel like there could be some uh, disruptive energy around you. Possibly in your workspace. Uh, could be uh, a new offer of a partnership that might not be necessarily something that you should be taking at this time. But this page of inspiration, I feel like you are staying your creative self. I feel like you're tapping in into your emotions here, you're tapping in into your third eye, you're tapping in into your intuition, and you know exactly how to stay in power, how to stay happy, how to have the win in your life. So be aware, there's this uh, also male energy around you, there's this old man, there could be somebody older than you that is coming in this distorted energy here and offering something that, like I said, could be not necessarily very beneficial for you financially. This is talking about your financial situation. Be aware of this energy, but also know that you are strong here, you're, you have happiness on your side and you have total emotional wish fulfillment. And this Ten of Materials is talking about um, ten, uh, the, sorry, ten of Pentacles is uh, talking about Ten of Materials, which is um, full abundance in your finances. So this energy, although might be coming your way, but this is something that will crumble behind you. This is something that will crumble behind you and you will stay strong in your Ten of Pentacles. This is what I see. This is what I see for you, August. Let's move into September. What's happening here in September? All right, September, King of Swords, King of Swords here, some air energy, luck and money with coins and strength and success with lime. So obviously you're standing here in your power with the King energy as an overall, your money are strong, you have some luck coming there, you have success here with this line, you're very strong, very strong energy here, definitely in your power. Comes with Ten of Swords, there is some ending here because you are ready to start a new journey. Look at this Fool. Fool is a start of a new journey. Fool is a very light energy and it is telling me that this is the journey that is going to bring you luck and success. So very nice here. It comes again the Tower. Look at that. But look at this Tower. How different is this Tower from other decks? This Tower is talking about transformation. This tower has butterflies on it. This is a transformational energy. This is a beautiful tower, if you ask me. And uh, it comes with justice. In fact, you got justice twice in here. Justice twice in the spread, which is telling me that whatever here, uh, that you're going through the transformation, they will bring you into beautiful balance. They'll bring justice into your life. They'll bring justice to your financial situation and your success here. This is very strong energy. You have a lot of major arcanas here. You have uh, very strong energies. So you something has ended here. There is an ending to something. There is a start of a new cycle. This ending could be uh, something to do with an uh, um, external circumstances, something that is external to your life. Some, uh, the tower is falling. But for you, this tower brings transformation, brings butterflies and takes you to justice beautiful balance just energy and like i said there is a transformation of this justice here again you have justice twice you also have death and hand muse i mean this is absolutely beautiful death is talking about again ending of a cycle the ten of swords there is definitely some ending here but with death there is always a rebirth and this full energy this new journey is your rebirth. I feel like this journey that you are taking, especially with this justice and transformational tower here, you will be tapping into intuition way more. I feel like you will be very much in tune with the source here. Your third eye will be lit. I feel like this new journey that you're taking during this time, this rebirth that takes you to a luck and success, is going to also be very much intuitive for you. I think that you will know exactly where this journey needs to go and what your justice is. This is what I see here. 
very strong energies around you here but just remember that you are strong you are strong to survive the ending you are strong to survive this tower go through the transformation go for a new cycle tap into your intuition and be just to yourself to people around you and justice will come into your world king of swords here is a very um, just king very fair king so again you have that energy there as well beautiful all right Sagittarius we are done with third quarter for you done with third quarter moving on to fourth quarter let's cleanse the energies here and let's see how you're ending your year what the fourth quarter is here to bring you fourth quarter of 2023 what does it have in store for you? Let me remove that. Give me a minute here. If you'd like to skip that, go to the time steps in description box. I just need a couple of minutes here to cleanse this all. Sagittarius we are in a fourth quarter we are looking at October November and December of 2023 let's see let's start with October what's happening in October 2023 for Sagittarius what's happening in October 2023 this is happening Three of Pentacles. All right. What is happening in November 2023 for Sagittarius? November 2023. November 2023. Okay. And December. December 2023 for Sagittarius. December 2023 this is the card wow temperance <laughs> isn't that amazing all right let's go ahead and pull oracle cards October 2023 Sagittarius what's the message what does the coffee cup oracle has for us Okay, November 2023. November 2023 for Sagis. This is it. Okay. Okay. And December 2023. December 2023 for Sagittarius. let's clarify your cards let's start with three of pentacles here for october 2023 what is three of pentacles here for for sagis no okay no means no sagittarius three of pentacles in october this one Hey. This one. Nice. Four of cups. What else? This one. The Hermit. All right. Okay, let's get some additional messages here. Additional messages for October 2023. 
Sagittarius. What else is happening in October 2023 for Sagis? October 2023. October 2023. This one. Alright, nice. No. Magician and the Emperor. Wow, beautiful. Okay, let's go ahead and see what is this two wands here for? Two wands for November 2023. For Sagis, let's clarify two wands. Two wands. This one right here. Queen of Wands. Alright. This one. The Star. Okay. The Hangman. And the Empress. And the Strength. Oh wow. Wow, beautiful. Okay, what else do we have here for November 2023? For Sagis, what else is happening? Not that one. What else is happening for Sagis? Wow, so voices. The Hermit. Wow, beautiful. And <laughs> Temperance. Wow. Great energies. Great energies. Temperance, Temperance. We see a lot of repeated cards in your reading. All right, let's clarify the Temperance for December 2023 for Sagis. Let's see. December 2023. Wow. Lovers. And Eight of Wands. Okay. No. Okay. What else for Temperance? Six of Wands, beautiful. All right. Give me additional messages for December 2023 for Sagi. What else is happening in December? Maybe some more clarification. Maybe something else. We'll find out. Eight of Voices. December 2023. Osaji, please. This. Two of inspiration and death. Wow. Okay. All right. Well, let's see what's happening. Let's see what's happening here in October 2023. Okay. I see some energy of uh, collaboration here. I see some energy of a community here. Um, I see some uh, working maybe here, some working energy. There is definitely some changes coming to you. Seven of Wands is the energy of a win. This is the energy of a valor. You're staying above all the ones here. You're sitting above, you are in your power. You're very intuitive during this period of time. I feel like uh, you are definitely tapping into your higher self here. With this seven of wands specifically in this deck, when she's here meditating and this hermit energy, it is telling me here that you are definitely tapping, tapping into intuition. I think that you are uh, waiting for some offer here during this time. 
You might be a little bored during this time. I feel like you might be even trying to walk away from something. Maybe you're looking for new uh, opportunities in job. You might be looking for the new community around you. You might be leaving the people that you are currently surrounded by and you're going somewhere else. I feel like you um, lacking a little bit of uh, fulfillment here. If it is a job place that we are talking about here with the three of pentacles, I feel like it is bringing you money for sure, but I feel like you're looking for a new job that also will bring you emotional satisfaction. And the answers are within you. This is what it's telling me. You are the winner here, you are the brother, but you need to look for the answers within you. You need to um, meditate during this time. If you are doing that practice, that's great. If not, maybe something you want to explore. But there's answers within you. The universe is bringing you answers here. You need to purify your energy and the change is coming. Now look at this. You have this nine of inspiration, which is nine of wands. You, you, are, you will be finding here a job that is very much satisfying to you. With this magician and the emperor card, this is extremely strong energies. I feel like going into your hermit mode, tapping into your intuition, connecting to the high source will bring you a, a strong power of being able to manifest whatever you desire. The magician is the manifester. Connected here with this hermit card, this is telling me that you are very strong in your manifestations during this period of time and you can manifest this uh, energy of an emperor. Just pay attention here, the emperor is actually a female in this particular card and she is in charge here. She is in charge, she has it all, she has embraced the energies of all four kings. Again, this is not a gender specific, but this is the person who has it all, who has the career in check, who has the materials in check, who has emotions in check. The emperor, powerful, powerful energy here. So definitely very intuitive months for you. Definitely a month to manifest the powerful uh, standings here, to manifest whatever you desire in your workspace and manifest new offers to come in into your life. Beautiful, beautiful. Go within. Go within. Listen to your heart, listen to your intuition. This is where you'll find your answers. All right, November, November. Look at this beautiful spread of major arcanas. This is insane, guys. This is insanely good. All right, so in November, you're looking to the far horizons. You have the world in your hand, literally, and you're picking where should you go? What, what's next for you? What is next for you? What is the next stage in your life? Where to go? Maybe physically, maybe just where to take your life path to. Again, you've been, you're embracing this energy of a moose here. You know that you're different. You know that you're unique and you're embracing that energy. Why? Because you're an empress. An empress is the most abundant, in tune with her emotions, birth in the world here energy beautiful to have it with strength with the hangman and the star you are a star this is what i can tell you you unique yourself you are definitely a star this is the month for you to shine queen of wands extremely attractive queen this is a passionate queen this is a queen that is physically attractive emotionally attractive this is somebody who, is, who has a lot of attention on her, who has a lot of eyes on her, and why wouldn't she? She is the empress. She is, you are strong here. You, are, you have your wishes here. You are in tune with your intuition. You're wishing upon the star, and you're reaching the success here. Hangman, look at this. Look at this enlightenment that you have during this month. I, uh, I think that uh, going into a hermit mode here and tapping into your intuition and manifesting your future, it, it led you to this. It led you to be strong, extremely strong, extremely abundant, very much lit and in tune with the universe here and it brought you wish fulfillment. Look at that. She's pull, pulling the star in, in, to her. Wish fulfillment, healing. You have it all here very strong, very attractive, 
And you're doing this all by being yourself, by being a centric self, by being unique, by um, proving to people that who you are is enough to take on the energy of this Empress here, to be abundant in all areas of your life. You have it with Ace of Voices, again a Hermit and a Temperance. Ace of Voices is talking about how wise you are. Absolutely you are. You are the Empress, you are the Queen. You are very wise here. You uh, are a great communicator. You can definitely deliver the message of whatever you need to the world. And that's what you're doing here. Hermit, again, very much in touch with the universe. You are a wise sage here. With this owl card here and the hermit, you're wise and you are in balance. You have this beautiful energy of balance here. Of course, Empress is balanced and this is what you are. You're bringing um, the balance into your life here. With the two of wands here as well, there is some stability coming in. Whatever you're looking for is coming. And again, you're tapping in within and you're finding those answers from within. Beautiful, very emotionally charged, very spiritually charged time for you. Okay, and we are in the end of the month, in the end of the year, I should say. We are in December. And look at that. You have the temperance card here. You have the balance in December. You brought the balance energy from November into your December. How you finishing your months here? This is your overall man energy for December. Temperance. Balance. You have two cups here. You're pouring the energy from one to another. You are in the water in your emotions and you are grounded on land as well. Beautiful energy. And look at that. You have a divine union. You have love coming in. In the end of the year, you are extremely strong in love. You have some passion coming towards you, for sure, with this Eight of Wands and the Lovers. There is some passion here, and you are a winner. You are recognized here. You are recognized for who you are. The, the person that you are in a romantic union here see you as the star. They see you as worthy of being uh, on the stage. They recognize that you are exactly what they want in this beautiful romantic union. A lot of passion coming towards you, a lot of good communication. This is a divine union. This is what I see. And look at that. You have two of inspiration here. This is your two of wands from the previous months. You are continuing this energy here. Uh, definitely looking towards the new horizons. Absolutely. You are bringing something new into your life, possibly this beautiful romantic relationship. Eight of Voices, look at this Eight of Voices. Yes, she is blindfolded, but she can see the light. She or he can see the light here. And this is what I see. I see that you are tapping into your intuition. You are very much connected to the source here. And this is where you find your answers. And the death, there is a rebirth here. Look at this. Look at this beautiful card. There is a death and rebirth here. There is a new cycle. I think there is new romance coming here. There could be some female energy around you during this time who is helping you to bring this balanced energies into your life and to bring this romantic love life. Could it be somebody who passed on or over? Yes, it could be. It could be somebody from the spiritual world that is coming towards you here and uh, helping you from above while you're reaching in uh, to your source to bring a romantic love into your life. All right, Sagis, this is what I see. This is your 2023 overview. Thank you for staying with me here until the end. I truly appreciate you. I hope you found this message is helpful. And if you did, please subscribe to my channel, like the video, and I hope to see you soon again. Bye for now.